to her new home. Yep, Sylvia the Blonde Ivory, Ivory. Tenant. She's going to her new home. Yeah, I got this chassis I'm working on dry and Sylvia with the with the um, with the reverb on the, on the delay. So playing, your slide, playing your slide guitar on your Les Paul. Playing slide on a Les Paul? Yeah, I don't often play a Les Paul. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, they're not. It's not my kind of guitar, really. But so you're into standard tuning there. This is standard tuning. Yeah, well, it's a hop step down, but it's standard tuning. So isn't that kind of hard to do? What with a slide? Is it? Yeah. So. But if you know the right hand technique, then it's not that hard to do. Well, maybe you should make a little slide guitar lesson. Slide guitar lesson? <laughs> beginner? A beginner slide guitar lesson. Because I have absolutely no business doing an advanced slide guitar lesson. Is that correct? You would know that better than me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so, you know, I've seen people 60 years old, 70 years old, that will say, oh, I've never put a slide on in my life. And then others that say, oh, I tried that, and I just, just never works, and they never play. They play in one tuning, and they just play guitar all their lives, and they, and they never enjoy a piece of pipe on their finger or a piece of glass, okay? And... Or whatever that thing is. Yeah, and, and it, it's so difficult at first, for a lot of people, so they try it, and then they try it again a couple of years later. It looks and they so try easy. Yeah, <laughs> and and so what happens is, is it just never it never happens for them, and they, and they and they and they never play slide, and especially guys that play blues, it's like this this is what that's what this is all about. I thought blues and right? slide were together. Yeah, well, yeah, blues and slide. Is that washing machine on? Nope. Oh, okay. The tower garden's running. Oh. Yeah, blues, blues, you know, so anyway, one of the biggest reasons why people never learn to pick up slide. Oh, I should have had one out. I don't have one out because I don't use one. It's use a, what? It's a little round thing called a guitar pick. Okay. A flat, no, that's a thumb pick. You, a thumb pick, you can play slide with a thumb pick if you want to. But you can't uh, play slide with a regular pick. Like the little triangle thingies? Yeah, you can just forget about that. There, there's people that have done it. Um, 
but they're superhuman. A guy like Rory Gallagher, okay? Um, he was able to do it, but I wouldn't say, if you want to learn how to play slide, the first thing you have to do is learn how to use your right hand. And if you're going to use a pick at all, it needs to be a thumb pick. Now, as years go by, if you somehow develop some sort of style where you can do this right hand trick that I'm going to show you, with a pick in your hand, I don't know how you're going to do it, but um, like, but you, you know, especially you young kids, you have, a, you have like YouTube, we didn't have that, I didn't have that. So when I started to learn slide, I had to listen to records, and I didn't know anything like from the record. What finger did the guy have a slide on? Okay, that's I'm going to teach you some things now that are more important than oh, this is how you play slide, play in this tuning, and, and no, you can learn all that stuff yourself. I'm going to give you real basic fundamentals. So I would listen to somebody play slide, and I wouldn't know what finger the slide was on till I went to finally to see that guy play. Or it, it, like when I finally saw Rory Gallagher and said, has he got a pick in his hand? I mean, that, that blew my mind because I, I never seen anybody play slide with a pick and sound good, and he did, okay? But I wouldn't suggest trying it, if, especially you if you have to drink heavily out. to do that. Yeah, especially, <laughs> yeah, well he did, <laughs> especially if you're starting out, okay? So for, first tip in playing slide, okay? What finger do you put your slide on? You asking me? Yeah, I'm asking. Let me you. make a wild guess. I'm going to say the pinky. Because <laughs> well, you see me doing it, right? Okay. Yeah. So what most um, char teachers that aren't really slide players or people like that, first of all, when you see YouTube videos, let me let me get this straight. Right, I'm not telling you anything here that's a fact. Okay, everything is up to how you decide to do it. Like if you see a video that says you're using the wrong pick, okay, yeah. I mean, the only person you should listen to on YouTube is somebody that's got a degree in music. And if you don't like what you hear when you hear him playing, don't bother listening to him either because it's all about what, what you like. And this is what I'm gonna teach you about playing slide that's more important than showing you a tuning or anything else, okay? So the, the, the first thing you have to decide is what finger you're gonna put slide on. And what most people will tell you, okay, is put it on the finger that feels the most comfortable, okay? well. I'm gonna break that rule I just told you about not listening to people tell you it's wrong. Well, that's wrong, okay? That's just flat out wrong. Don't do that, don't ever do that, okay? Um, but you said don't listen to you if you say to do something. I know, but you. you <laughs> but listen anyway. But for the sake of the video, all right? And for the sake of, of the, I'm, I'm giving you stuff that's more important than the slide lesson of somebody showing you what to play on a, with a slide on, okay? Now, I'm a very simple slide player. I like to play the blues, but the trick I'm going to show you is, is uh, with the right hand will allow you to play in any tuning, not just open tunings. Okay. And make sure you use your so slide the answer to what finger you put the slide on is a complicated answer, and you have the ability to do this. And I didn't when I was young. When I was young, I'd listen to Dwayne Allman, I'd listen to Ry Cooter, I'd listen to all these guys, right? And I had to. I had it on the finger that was most comfortable to me, which was this finger, which was totally wrong for what I wanted to play on the slide. Okay, now you gotta follow me here. So I fought that for years, wondering why I couldn't do what I heard Ry Cooter doing. And because, yeah, I could do what Dwayne did, because I had it on the same fingers he had it on. You get where I'm going with this? Okay. The Coors Eden bottle? Doesn't matter what, what <laughs> that's all depends on what, what you come to like and so I use a lot of different sounding slides for different things but the finger you choose to put that slide on is going to develop a habit and you're going to wind up stuck playing that way okay I can play all kinds of chords okay with so you don't want to start out doing it wrong right.
So you're, you're basically the slide is here. How am I going to play those chords? So you're not. Uh, you're basically you're not losing all your fingers. Yeah, I can't play those chords, paint. right? But now, if you listen to Dwayne, Dwayne doesn't play any chords. That's why the slide's here, okay? Uh, and the the guy that um, the other guy there that 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 plays like him, it's all single note stuff, right? And and then when he wants to use his fingers in an open tuning, because he only plays an open E, he'll take he'll take the. take the slide off. Now this guitar is not in standard tuning, but you, you can but you could play it in standard tuning with the slide on uh, or with it off and you can play all kinds of chords, you know. Now um, this isn't one of my main tunings. I do like this tuning, you know, but um, yeah, you know how am I gonna play those chords with this slide on this finger okay oh, no, probably chunk up your no you, you're not going to be able to do it so if you're listening to more old country blues where all those guys had it here and this feels better to you and you start playing here and you wonder how come I can never sound like those guys but if you want to sound like Dwayne, don't put the slide here, okay? Because that's not where he had the slide, and it really will affect how you sound. Now you can fake Dwayne with the slide here, and you could fake the old country guys with the slide here, but your main sound will be coming from where you now. So, so what what you need to do? The answer to what finger you put it on? Don't even put it on any finger. First, go on YouTube where you can watch these guys play. Who do I like? What style of slide do I like? Start paying attention to things. Watch, that guy only ever plays in one tuning. He's got the slide here, and there's a reason for that. Okay? Because he can't really play in any chords. He only really needs to learn one tuning. Okay? And then you see the other guy who's got the slide here, and he'll play like I just did on the Les Paul and Standard tuning, or, or you know... <laughs> play all kinds of stuff here and play chords and all these other things so on and so forth and um, if that's the style you want to play then obviously put the slide on the finger you see the guys that you want to sound like playing and if you want to play in multiple tunings, like, like for instance, um, it's the guy from Government Mule. What's his name? The big dude there. <laughs> You're asking I, I me. I can't think of his name right now. Anyway, he's a really good player, but he plays in standard on his Les Paul, and he and he fakes all the Dwayne stuff in standard tuning, you know. And of course, he's got the finger here, and then he can take the slide off and play regular guitar. Okay, so that works for him. You but know? you like to leave it on. Yeah, well, and, you know, I'll leave it on or take it off or whatever. But when I'm playing slide, I want to play slide. But I don't play for the Allman Brothers, so I don't have to do that. Okay? So it's it's what you want to do or what you have to do is what finger. Now, some guys develop a style in multiple fingers. That's real hard to do. Okay? Rory Gallagher. When Rory Gallagher played his Strat in standard tuning, that slide was on this finger. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that about him. But when he played the telly in this tuning right here, Slide was on this finger. When he played his acoustic guitars, Slide was on this finger because he played more old style country blues on that. You know, So that's the answer to what finger to put the slide on, is to learn first how you want to sound to decide. Because, look, I saw, what's his name, um, Pat, Tra uh, Pat Travers learn to play Slide very late in his career. Right, I saw him. I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, and he was playing Red House at every show with a slide like this, and all his fingers, you know, yield back, and he didn't even, have, you know, like, like, and one thing that guy was famous for is never copying anybody. He's a, he's one of the old school, original, original players, you know. 
that sounded like himself, not like anybody else. Well, why don't you just so, play with the jackknife? So knife? sure enough, when he goes to put a slide on, he, he finds a way like you've never seen anybody do and the slide sticking out like this on this knuckle. And he sounds great. It's, this is a great thing, but it's only for like a couple of songs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, who knows what else he can do with it. I don't know him personally, but I saw what he did with it there, you know. But, um, but so, so there's a, you know, this, it's all in what you want to sound like. But that, what he did there, that's an example of putting it where it feels comfortable and then just playing what you want to play. Okay, that's the other option. So that proves, again, that there's no right way and there's no wrong way. I'm just trying to save you a lot of time and trouble with fundamentals. Now, open tuning or standard tuning. Okay, so you say, I want to, I want to learn slide. And you say that to your guitar instructor, and he says to you, "Well, well, you better put that guitar in a in a open tuning, right? Don't they all say that?" trick in a minute the reason they're telling you that is because if you don't know the right hand trick okay that I'm gonna show you you can fake playing slide in an open tuning so I'll play it without the right hand trick right and it won't it won't I won't sound like a really good slide player but like George Thorogood or something or, or Sunhouse just walking away <laughs> strings are ringing you can fake it you can sound like you're doing something but if you do that on that in standard tuning you're gonna sound like a dying whale okay that's why guys will tell you oh if you're gonna learn to play slide put it in an open tuning okay and then you go that's why a lot of guys will never learn to play slide because they go well I know that I've been playing for 20 years I know that tuning I know where all my chords are I know where all my notes are I don't want to have to learn all this Right? You following me? I'm, since I don't play guitar, it's a little harder for me. Okay. So, <laughs> they're telling you this because either they don't know this right hand technique that I'm about to show you, or they think it's too hard to tell you, and so that you can start playing something that almost sounds like music. But you will never sound, there's guys that play slide all their life without knowing this in open tunings and they sound like hacks okay the first guy that really did this that I'm gonna show you is Robert Johnson that's why his guitar sounded so controlled compared to Sunhouse and all those other guys it's just a, a slide at a weird angle and all hack sounding and it's beautiful it's old blues it's wonderful but then Robert Johnson came came along and controlled the strings on the guitar okay so how, how does it work okay well let's get into it so there's, there's three types of muting when you play slide, okay? The first one would be... types of muting is 
is these fingers closed, okay? And then... And then when you want the strings to ring off, you obviously open this right hand, okay? So... And you close it down when you want it... Open these fingers and you want that to ring off okay now sounds like a right hand and a left hand trick I'm showing the, the three types of muting first okay. right hand is the palm on the muting and then there's open and close okay so now now we're going to get into the right hand thing. It's absolutely necessary in standard tuning to stop all the strings that your slide is in contact with because in this tuning everything's in tune if all these other notes are playing. In that tuning they're not. Okay, So the thumb, if I'm going to play the B string, okay, I'm going to hold the E string with this finger, and that thumb is going to lay across and stop all other strings. And you see me moving up as I go up? And I'm employing more fingers because now I have to hold the B and the E. And then when I get down to here, I'm going to have to hold the G. Right? get good at it then you do it you stop thinking about it and you just do it okay so that now in open tuning it's real necessary to the sound professional to stop because if I don't stop all the strings from ringing watch it's a, it, I'm playing a chord instead of just the note but them all the ring I can just let go see open here open here and you see I, I'm, I'm I'm opening and closing and but this is the right hand trick it's really simple yet really hard to learn once you learn it you can play slide and open tuning but you're not going to learn this if you're a guy that does this thing where you fold the pick like this and then you use your fingers like this and that's all you know you have to put the pick down you, that's you, why the pick is bad the pick is bad because you, you can't, can't mute properly it's impossible because i like the sound of this finger sometimes better than the sound of this finger on especially if i got gain on right <laughs> Even if I'm using this finger here, if I'm up here, well, I can hold with these two. play the guitar like a regular guitar leave your slide on if it's on the pinky if not then a lot of what I'm telling you doesn't matter but this matters this always matters whether you're playing the Dwayne Allman style which he pretty much invented or the old blues style you have to learn this and that's why guys 
go their whole life and never play a slide because they just don't pay attention to learning this. They can never sound good because they can't stop. I, that thumb has to stop all those strings, see? And you have to be sort of stingy with your slide. Like, like you can't, you, you don't want to play here to play this note, okay? Bring the slide down. kind of fancy guitar playing or turn any gain on or anything. I'm just playing real clean so you can see, you know, Sylvia is, is the only amp that's on right now. Sylvia is set. There's the volume and there's the tone. It's very, very set, very low, nice and clean, especially with a strap here, you know. But um, that's the deal with that. And of course, if you're in like open G like this is, but it's F sharp because I'm a half step down, then all your scales in in work, and then you just repeat them on these last strings, like, like, and you know. So you 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 can play. You can learn the open tunings yourself. I'm not I'm not here. To, I'm, 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 this video is not about showing you all those complicated things about slide that that are the easiest part. You just start playing it. You'll learn where everything is. You'll learn where all these chords are. Um, you know, like like for instance, a seventh chord here, right? Or or you know. And then if you played your seventh, then G is going to have to be here. case F sharp but so you 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 can learn where all you know bar chords happens automatically anyway a little short video beginning slide guitar she speaks <laughs> beginning beginning slide guitar um, from an amateur <laughs> but you're never gonna sound like a pro slide player without learning this it's just not gonna happen and you're doing it on your special slide guitar too yeah this is one of my strats that, that uh, look at that's the, the one look at the figure do. in that neck huh that isn't nice? it beautiful it's a beauty. This is just, I don't know, I just like this one for this tuning and, and the Vastropole tuning. But, um, oh, set up the slide. That guitar was set up for just the way I play normally. So, and I was playing it in standard tuning. It's not a big deal. You'll figure that out as you go. You might want your action a little higher, but there's no special setup. Just don't have a really loose neck. Don't use a junky old guitar for slide just because it doesn't play good for a regular guitar. You know, you could you could learn how to play slide on your guitar that's set up for regular tuning. But this video is getting really long, but... Is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know how to tell if it's getting long. It probably is. But there it is, right there, right hand. 
that's what's forget that this you'll figure all this out it's real simple mute don't mute mute don't mute slide to the note blah 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 blah. this is the trick right here this hand is the important hand when you're playing slide peace out bye y'all